DRC remains at the at least 20 people found in former rebel-held villages in North Kivu. The remains were discovered in an area that was under control of the ADF militia which links to the Islamic State group and had been retaken by the Congolese army this year. Residents of Ndoma and other villages located nearby alerted the authorities that they had found bones and clothes in the field in an area normally used for planting cocoa. The military deployed a team with officials, police, forensic investor, investigators, and others to search the area. Muyesa Kambale Sindani, a representative of the nearby village of Kilia, said the remains would be buried with dignity. He said that the bones of at least 20 people were found but that it would not be possible to extend the search due to the precarious state of security in the area. Conflict has been simmering in eastern Congo for decades as more than 120 armed groups fight for power, influence and resources and some to protect their communities. The ADF has been largely active in North Kivu province but has recently extended its operations into neighboring Italy province and to areas near the regional capital Goma. The ADF rebels are accused by the UN and rights group there are innocent people who have been buried here. This is really a mass grave, said Captain Anthony Mualushai, spokesperson for the military. In addition to the bodies of civilians, the army said that clothes and remains of some soldiers were also found in the area. Residents of the area that helped in the search demanded justice and more protection from the government. We demand justice to be done so that the perpetrators of this massacre answer for their actions and set an example for other rebels to stop killing us and fairy, said Richard Kakule, a farmer from Ndoma. After the forensic and experts collected the remains and put them in white birds, local residents organized a small ceremony where they sang while burying the bodies with their own hands. The Uganda-based ADF rebels have been active in Eastern Congo for decades and have killed thousands in the region since they suppressed in 2013. Earlier this year, the United States offered a reward up to five US dollar millions for information that could lead to the capture of the group's leader Seka Musa.